Hello traders, welcome to another video in this tutorial series. Today we want to talk about how to uh, apply smart money concept according, uh, across multiple time frames. I've edited the code we're working with. You can download it on GitHub uh, multi time frame SMC. That's what I saved it with. So what we want to do this time is we want this EA to execute trades based on the one hour rejection block. You can see this uh, rejection block starts here at 800 and here at 1000. So it's not a five minute rejection block, it's a one hour rejection block. So we want to sell when uh, the highest price sweeps the low of this block but price does not close inside the block for the sell scenario and the, the reverse for the buy scenario so we start off by going back to our code i just made some very simple changes so the first change is um here we changed the time period for the copy rates in the rejection block custom function. We changed it from period current. We changed it to period H1. The other thing is um, I introduced a new variable, total T. Defined it here as um, positions total. Positions total, you press F1. Positions total uh, returns the total number of open positions. It's different from others total. So the function here is simply if the total, uh, the number of open positions is less than one, which means zero. So what I'm trying to do is I don't want multiple positions opened in the same direction. I want only one position open in that direction. So if there is no open position, so total T is less than one, you can write if total T is equal to zero if you want. So if total T is less than one, and this is the definition of a, of a liquidity sweep. If there is a liquidity sweep, use the opposite value minus spread. Spread is, you know, the uh, difference between ask and bid. Uh, four, four times the value of the spread, you take it from the low value as a buffer for any spike and the same way, the reverse case for the sell trade. So that's basically what I did. And I'm running it from uh, December 29, 2024 to date. The performance is bad but not so bad, you know, there's still so many things that can be filtered out, but just to show you how to work with some um, smart money concept ac across multiple time frames. So these are one hour rejection blocks. You see the, every time they get swept, the EA executes a new trade in oh this is also executed based on this block here this is executed based on the block here that has now been deleted this is executed based on this block is oh the block here which has now been invalidated this is ex executed based on this block this is executed based on this block one okay you see it gets executed based on this block, gets executed based on a block that has been deleted. So that's how it works. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to share it with your friends. Like, follow, subscribe. Aha, follow me on X. Follow me on X as Trend Day Trader. So I see you in the next video.